In the year 2040, one hero fights to save our dying planet, the Phantom. Two million citizens in Metropia. And if you're a police officer, you can't trust any of them. Except your partner. But if you're floating a beat in the lower levels without a partner, then you really know what it means to be alone. And in a city state like Metropia, being alone is as lonely and as dangerous as it gets. Step out of the vehicle, Plughead. Uh, it's not what you think, officers. I saw the van was open, and I thought... Oh, please, at least be original. Officer Wu, I have found Red Market Wetware, street name Brain Candy. Is something wrong, officer? No. Thought I knew him. Uh, forget it, partner. Let's float. Realistic, Spark. We can't win all the time. Oh man, our too late. We'll never get in. Unless we have a friend in high place. It's about time you two showed up. Here, Maximum Inc. passed out VIP passes to the police. I had a few extra. You knew all along we weren't going to be late. Better watch this guy real close, see? That's exactly what I had in mind. Oh, this place is a scam. <laughs> Try these sparks. They'll uh, change your perspective. I see what you mean. Virtual vainglory is everywhere. I gotta go check out the ride. Adios, muchachos. Pretty inexpensive theme park. More imagination than reality. Well, I can imagine some things I'd like to change into reality. There must be something wrong with these. Either that or you're a ghost. Oh, uh, you just got a bad pair of data glasses, that's all. Come on, we better keep up with sparks. The attendance figures are astronomical. At this rate, we'll earn enough to pay for Cyberville without those tiresome outside investors. My analyticals say that sooner or later, everyone in Metropia will pass through these doors, and they're all going to pay me for the privilege. Watch your step. Move along, please. My new music cylinder is now available in the gift shop. Don't let your friends think you're not listening to the latest Flex music. Buy your copy today. Come back soon. Move it. if you know the lyrics to my latest songs. Change what others think of you. Buy my new music cylinder.
innocent. Save it for the analyticals. Please remain seated. Let's sing my new song. Let me take a look. Oh, <laughs> I think I see the problem. Got it! Uh, cut loose optic fibers. There. Try mine now. Hey, I'm impressed. You're full of surprises. Unfortunately, yes. Hey, you know, I know that officer. We were friends at the Academy. Hey, Lynn, it's me, Sagan! Saw it. I'm sure she saw me. Yeah, she probably didn't recognize you with the glasses on. Maybe we should see if Sparks is still breathing after the spine smasher. Good evening, citizens. This is a restricted research facility. Please identify yourselves. I like her, Galan. I mean, I really like her. And I know she likes me. But she's a police officer, and the police think the Phantom's a criminal. She'll never... How dare you return here? Please accept my most profound apologies for disturbing you here. But I have been asked to deliver a most urgent message by an organization that needs the Phantom's help at once. What organization? The Metropian Police Force. They wish to offer you a job. Where is a so-called ghost who walks? Right here. Let's just get one thing straight from the start. I don't think our working together is a good idea, but my superiors overruled my objection, so here we are. Exactly why are we here? Well, last night, three research labs were robbed and destroyed as if they'd been melted by fusers. And after crunching the evidence, police analyticals decided you were the best bet to solve the mystery. Don't ask me why. And since I'm the only enforcer who's ever met you, the analyticals chose me to be your contact. Lucky me. <clears throat> if I may interrupt, the Phantom may be interested to know that if he identifies the criminals responsible, the police will drop all charges against him. I don't need a reward to help the police. We've always been on the same side. Hmm. You'll pardon me if I still have my doubts. What was stolen from the labs? I believe you'll have an opportunity to discover that very shortly. Ah, a fourth robbery is in progress, even as we speak. I don't know how, but he's right. Quantum Network Labs in Park Sector. We're wasting time, partner. <laughs> See where they went? No. It's as if they vanished into thin air. Just the way you usually do. Why did the analyticals choose you for this case anyway? I... 
I don't know. Love notes from father in the great beyond? It's a list of items stolen from our secret research labs. Hmm. They're for experiments to create psionic mental powers in human minds. Oh, tired of torturing biots, are we? Your father dropped all research efforts to artificially create psionic powers years ago. The results were too unpredictable. Speaking of the unpredictable, the police have asked the Phantom to help solve the research lab robberies. Grabbed! You were right, Baudelaire. She didn't take it well at all. Now, according to the police data log, Lynn and her partner were on patrol near Vanity Fair last night. That's when I saw her. That's right, I remember. Say again? Uh, I, uh, remember hearing about Vainglorious theme park openings. What were you doing there? Uh, I have a life, you know. I was there with a friend. A very good friend. All right, here's the two Lynn was with. Zoner Hatchet, a red market wet weird dealer, and Val Decker, a protein engineer with no criminal record. There's no connection. Excuse me, I, uh, have a call. Phantom, I have uncovered essential information about the three people you seek. Go ahead, the circuit is secure. No, the information is too vital to broadcast. You must return to the lair immediately. Sagan, er, uh, Officer Cruz, I have to go meet someone. Fine. Then we'll both meet him, partner. You requested a meeting. I need to find this man. Ah, congratulations. Emil Jeter was the first to conduct triad experiments more than 20 years ago. Someone's recreating his work without knowing how dangerous it is. If Jeter's still alive, I want to talk to him. I can help you find him, of course. But first, there's the matter of my fee. State your terms. I'd like all the data Maximum has assembled on the Phantom. After all, Rebecca Madison has offered me a handsome reward if I can tell her who he is. As if you don't already know. I also disabled your tracking beacon. I'm sure you understand why no one can know where my headquarters are located. I remember you. From the right at Dockside Sector. This way, Officer Coos. What you are about to see took place 21 years ago. you 21 years ago you're in pretty good shape for someone your age these three people were the first and the last to be used in the triad project it was maximum's secret attempt to force superior intelligence from minds linked by telepathy for reasons unknown this first triad disappeared after its encounter with the phantom and Maximum canceled the project. Maybe that's why the analyticals wanted you on the case. They thought you defeated the first triad back then. Only this man, Dr. Emil Jeter, might be able to help us now. He created the first triad, but it appears he does not wish to be found. His whereabouts are completely unknown. Oh, great. So how do we find one person among billions? Perhaps I can be of assistance again. No wonder no one can find this guy. He's hidden in a maximum retirement monarch. They're like being on another planet. Monarchs are maximum storage chambers for people the world thinks it has no more use for. Oh, they give me the creeps. Hmm. Home sweet home. Dr. Jeter? I've been expecting you. Then you know there's a new triad in the world. It's not just increased human intelligence, you understand. It's a whole new life form. Dangerous. Unpredictable. Driven to survive at any cost. That's why Maximum abandoned the project. Biots are much more controllable. 
and profitable. My first triad was only destroyed by accident. I started another right away, with children this time. Two girls and a boy, I, I remember. They're in their 20s now, Dr. Jeter. They're the ones committing crimes. As long as they didn't come within a few meters of each other, the linked mind, the new child, would never be reborn. You're saying it was just chance that brought these three back together? Chance or fate, those poor children. I am so sorry. Too late for regrets, Gita. It's time you retired permanently. Aim, lock, fire! DVL, hydraulics! Blasted mutant! Jeter, you get to the roof before Grab calls for reinforcements. Why not give up, citizen? You have nothing left to offer. <sighs> Jeter's disappeared again, but he's so good at it, Grab will never find him either. Grab was trying to kill us. No kidding. Now you know what I've been up against all this time. Did Dr. Jeter have any last words worth remembering? Jeter got away. And the Phantom is working with the police, specifically Enforcer Cruz. Now they all know who and what Triad is. No! If the Triad child mind matures, it could create more creatures like it and replace us! A child taking revenge on its parents? That's an idea. So, Dr. Jude is long gone. Not even Cairo could find them. And without the Doctor, we'll never find Triad. You know, the three people who make up Triad have one thing in common. Vanity Fair. It's the place this new Triad was born. Oh, go on. Well, Triad may be powerful, but emotionally, it's a newborn. And a baby feels safest in familiar surroundings. And you think it might feel some kind of connection to Vanity Fair? That's not bad. Oh, thanks. It's nice to get compliments from you instead of laser blast. Well, it's nice to have a reason not to shoot you. This configuration's going to take 30 hours to repair. Might I suggest an alternative? Since we know the identity of the officer with the Phantom, it's a simple matter to program an assault biot to track her personal communications frequency. Darling, an excellent suggestion. Do you think you're capable of doing that much, at least? My analyticals have complete access to police communications. Perfect. The Byatt can home in on Sagan Cruz, and with any luck, we'll be able to put an end to Triad and the Phantom together. According to the map, we're near the park's secondary control room. under arrest. I, I cannot allow you to disrupt my work. We don't want to disrupt your work. We know you stole these components to create more beings like yourself. I am the only one of my kind. And you're lonely. I understand that. I don't know if you three people are one, but someone has to answer for the crimes you've committed. Lynn, you're a police officer. You're my friend. Endless now. Give yourself up. I cannot allow interference. I must not remain alone. Ah!
Please do not resist while I destroy you. Positive identification. Cruise Sagan. Termination activated. Sagan? No! Signal for medics. Phantom, you tried to protect us. Do understand. Save your strength, officer. Uh, too late. Take care of the others. Sagan, the Phantom. Help understand together. <coughs> Partners, not alone. Officer Cruz, what should I do with the other two? The Bayat killed Lynn. Those two are innocent. Let them go. I think I'm beginning to understand what you've been trying to tell me these last few months. Sometimes the law and justice aren't the same thing. And knowing how to tell them apart is never simple. Never easy. But it helps if you don't have to face these decisions alone. It helps if you have a partner. It helps. And whenever you need me, Sagan, you do have a partner. <sighs> Time to call in a night, TVL. Maybe Kit will be home. I think I'd like to talk to him. I think I'd like to tell him about Lynn and justice and being alone. <laughs> 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 